the Dell XPS 13 9300 is getting a nice overhaul for 2020 and is becoming more compact, more robust and more comfortable for productivity. In the foreground, its bright and particularly immersive 1610 matte FHD plus screen, the edges of which literally adjoin the physical limits of the case, but also the components that propel it, a 10th generation quad-core i7 and an integrated graphics chip of Iris Scope More G7. At their side, no less than 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD for system fluidity as well as state-of-the-art TB3 and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. Let us not forget to mention its backlit keyboard, its small, more compact format than an A4 sheet and its very good autonomy, 10 hours. Difficult to find fault with it under these conditions, maybe the soldered RAM for the model with 8GB, Dell offers its XPS 13 a new, even more compact case, but without upsetting the design codes dear to the brand. Cut from a single block of aluminium, the chassis of the Dell XPS 13 9300 always defies physical laws with an impressive robustness, measurements ratio. The design of this model does not change from the Dell standard with a silver back and a black woven carbon fiber interior. The result is both elegant and goes everywhere with real care given to the finishes and assembly. High end requires. The Dell XPS 13 9300 is also offered in a silver white design with a fiberglass interior. The Ultrabook is characterized above all by its very compact dimensions with only 14 mm thick and 1.2 kilograms on the scale. Measurements that bet on extreme mobility. But the most impressive is its format now more compact than an A4 sheet, 296 by 199 millimeters, obtained thanks to a work on the hinges which made it possible to thin the border under the screen. Impressive. Slipped into a bag, it will simply go unnoticed. Note also its keyboard backlit with white on two intensity levels which facilitates typing in a dark environment. Dell announces that it has expanded its touchpad by 17% and now offers an edge-to-edge -edge keyboard with larger keys. The screen regains its superb and climbs to 13.4 inches to pick up in the 1610 format so dear to productivity enthusiasts more vertical space. The name Infinity Edge takes on its full meaning with a screen-to-body ratio of 91.5%, immersing you directly in the image. 1610 format requires, its full HD plus definition goes to 1920 by 1200 pixels and offers a vast display space perfectly clear in order to make the most of high definition content while IPS technology takes care of opening the angles of vision and reproduce true colors. The announced brightness is 500 nits for a very bright rendering, a good point which makes it possible to counter the veil effect of the matte slab whose gain to counter reflections is precious. Dell also offers two optional touch panels, an FHD Plus and a 4K UHD certified HDR400. Connection side, we lose a USB-C port compared to the XPS 13 9380 but Dell preserves the Microsoft card reader. Next to it, there are therefore simply two USB Type-C Gen 2 Thunderbolt 3 ports completed with a supplied USB-C to USB-A adapter. If one of the two USB-C ports will be used by the power supply, the other can make up for the absence of all the missing interfaces. A Windows Hello compatible fingerprint reader is present on the power button as well as the latest Wi-Fi 6AX201 and Bluetooth 5.0 modules. Note that the webcam is kept in its original place, above the screen. To power it, the XPS 13 can rely on a 10th generation Ice Lake processor. Here, the low consumption quad core Core i7 1065G7 works in favor of everyday use, web browsing, video playback, spreadsheet, etc., but can also face more resource intensive tasks such as video editing, export, or photo retouching. Indeed, this processor claims a gain in terms of performance of the order of 10 to 20 percent compared to the ninth generation Whiskey Lake. We are not talking about real gain but a few seconds scraped here and there during demanding work that may make the difference for some users. Opposite, 
The RAM provides a total of 16 GB of RAM to enjoy an excellent level of multitasking whatever your requirements. The Dell XPS 13 9300 is also available in other configurations, starting from a basic version offered with a quad-core i5 1035G1 and 8 GB of RAM. Except that the RAM is sold and not scalable and we therefore regret this limited level of RAM, especially at such high prices. Where the evolution is more significant, it is at the level of the graphics chip integrated into the processor. In this case an Intel Iris Plus G7. Intel muscle its integrated solution until flirting with the performance of NVIDIA MX150, MX250. Without matching them, it allows this level to play many games in 1080p in good conditions and to work on tasks quite demanding in graphics power, Lightroom. Namely that the processor remains low consumption so do not expect to launch heavy tasks in computing. The storage also draws attention since it is entrusted to a 512 GB NVM SSD. This type of storage replaces the hard drive thanks to its excellent responsiveness attributed to the system. On a daily basis, this translates into a perfectly fluid Windows environment with short loading times and latency-free execution. What is more, the SSD is generally quieter, robust and energy efficient than a mechanical disk and its capacity has nothing to envy and can host a good part of your toy library. Dell has accustomed us to impressive autonomy and the situation does not change here. The battery capacity is the same as the previous generation, 52WHR. We can expect to see it succumb after 12 hours in web browsing with active Wi-Fi and a little longer in energy saving profile.